Hello everyone, happy to see you here and welcome back to my channel Brain Logic. Really interesting, relaxing question today. As always, right here we have really great and satisfying algebra question. We have 2 plus 2 in parentheses divided by 2 plus plus 2 in parentheses. So on the first side, this is like a very easy question. We don't have any exponents right here. We have like very easy and very simple expression. But many won't get right and make this mistake, and I'm going to show this mistake here in this video. But right now I suggest you to pause the video and try to solve it by yourself. What do you think is a correct answer? We have three options a b and c so right now i suggest you to pause the video real quick and try to solve it by yourself let's discuss about this answer to this question i hope you will solve this correctly okay first of all we have this expression and i just wanted to rewrite this expression right here so we have 2 plus 2 and we divide it by 2 plus 2 right here so uh, the first way to solve this question, and I don't want to tell that this is correct or incorrect, I just want to show this solution for you. So as you can see, we have 2 plus 2. This is our first step, because we just go from left to right right here. So 2 plus 2, we have 4. And we rewrite this expression, so 4 divided by 2 plus 2 in parentheses. So as you can see, we just rewrite this expression. And we just go from left to right once more, so we have 4 divided by 2 equal to equal to 2 and plus 2 in parentheses equal to equal to 4. We have this option. This is option A. So one part of students solve this question like that. And I, do, I want to tell that this is very bad solution because obviously we cannot solve it like that. We just need to know about order of operation because right here this is like a chaotic solution because we have like addition, then we divide, then we add right here. So as you can see, we solve it absolutely in a wrong order of operation. But I wanted to show this solution because a lot of students solve it like that, which is, which is really bad. And for this question, we need to understand what is the correct order to do this problem. Yeah, because we have three like elements. We have addition in parentheses, we have division, and we have once more parentheses. So we have like three elements. And obviously, whatever order of operation we select is going to create a different answer, right? So we need to understand what is the correct order to do this problem. And for order of operation, we need to know, um, for example, let's look at this board mass. This is the most popular order of operation in the world. All the internet libraries, scientific graphing calculator works according to PMDMC. And I don't want to tell that I respect, uh, I want to uh, respect every order of operation, for example, bod mass, I respect it, and I want to say that doesn't matter order of operation PMDMC and bod mass, we'll have the same and a correct answer. But in our case, let's solve it according to PMDMC, but I want to say that I respect every order of operation, okay? So PMDMC works from the top to the bottom, and I want to rewrite this question, so we have 2 plus 2 in parentheses, and divided by 2 plus 2. Okay, so here's our question. And let's look at this PMDMC order of operation. What is the first step? The first step according to PMDMC is parentheses. Yeah, we have right here our parentheses and let's scan where do we have these parentheses in our expression. Okay, so 2 plus 2, yeah, we have parentheses right here and we have parentheses right here. So we have two elements in the first step. So we have the step parentheses and we need to start from this parentheses, which is really great for us because 2 plus 2 is really easy to find this answer. We have 4 and divided by by. 2 plus 2 equal to equal to 4, which is which simplifies us a lot because right here we have a very easy expression. Moreover, if you go back to this PMDMC, right here we don't have any exponents, as I told before, we don't have any exponents in our expression right here. Moreover, we don't have any exponents. Moreover, we don't have any multiplication sign right here, so we reject this step as well. And we have the only division sign, so it, it's really great. We have division sign and we have like uh, we don't have any addition and subtraction sign. So as you can see, we have only two steps. This is parentheses and this is division. Saying in other words, parentheses is all the time before division and doesn't matter what order of operation, all the time the first step is parentheses. And then you can easily divide, multiply, add or subtract. So the first step parentheses, we completed this step. And 4 divided by 4 equal to equal to 1. But one really important moment right here, we don't have this option 1, we don't have this option, and a lot of students go back to this uh, wrong answer. Because right here we have option 4, which is maybe obvious solution for part of student, because we just go from left to right, and we have this option, this is like the first option. So one part of students say that correct answer is A. But this is absolutely incorrect answer, as I told before, this is like a chaotic order of operation, this is absolutely not correct. 2 is not a correct answer, because according to PMDMC, correct answer is 1. But let's look at this uh, 0 factorial. What about uh, this 0 factorial? Take a look close to 0 factorial. From school, you need to know this is like a special case. So 0 factorial equal to 1, which is, which is really great for us, because 
right here this one and this one are the same and we can easily in our minds we can easily change this one by zero factorial and our correct answer to this question if you are, if you are talking to according to this test a correct answer is option c according to test yeah but according to bmdmc correct answer is one yeah so this is like a trick in this test and i hope you understand it and moreover i hope you that you solve this question correctly so we wish you all the best i hope you understand this explanation and definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong i wish you all the best in your mathematic adventures thank you for your time and have a great day